Hello everyone, myself Tanya Garg. In our previous videos, I discussed about mobile application development for Android platform. In today's session, I am going to discuss about Windows Phone application. So let's start from the introduction. Windows Phone application was initially designed for Qualcomm Snapdragon processor in 2010. Initially, it was designed for two major reasons. The first was Nodu that was having the copy and paste functionality. Second was Mango that was having the functionality of mobile browser and multitasking. The Windows Phone application was developed after three and a half years of iPhone. There are various tools available for Windows application development. But here we are going to discuss about the .NET framework tool for Windows mobile application. Now let's talk about the tools available for Windows application development. First is .NET Framework. In this .NET Framework, we basically use Visual Studio along with various programming languages that can be C++, C Sharp, VB. Second is Expression Blend. It is provided by Visual Studio itself. Third is Orient Software, Microsoft App Launcher, Windows App Studio and PhoneGap. You can use any of the software for your Windows Phone application development. Next, there are two approaches for mobile application development. First is Silverlight approach. Second is XNA framework. In, from both the approaches, Silverlight approach is the most famous approach to design mobile application. Silverlight approach was developed as a way for developers to create high speed internet applications. Means if we design mobile application using Silverlight approach, it designed the applications having high internet. These days, Netflix is using Silverlight to stream their videos due to its high speed. A Silverlight application combines two components to design the mobile application. The first component is XML, that means Extensible Application Markup Language that is used to design the user interface. The code is written in a .NET framework language because it controls the application behavior. If you are developing a data-driven application, now what data-driven application is? The application that depends upon the data, means the application that depends upon the data you input is called as data-driven application. So if you are developing a data-driven application for Windows Phone 7, you should use Silverlight. Second approach is XNA framework. Now where we use XNA framework approach? It is basically used to design the window phone games. Next is building Windows Phone 7 application. What we use or what we require to build Windows Phone 7 application. To develop software for Windows Phone 7, you need a machine that has Windows operating system running on it. It can be mobile device or it can be laptop or desktop PC. Second is you need Visual Studio software if you are using .NET Framework. Next is Phone SDK. Now what Phone SDK is? It is Phone Software Development Kit that includes all the components necessary for Windows Phone application development. It includes emulators. It includes Silverlight Framework as well as Windows Phone 7 device to test with where you can test your applications after building. Next is hardware. So for building the Windows Phone application, the hardware must support Windows Phone application. It can be HTC, Nokia or Samsung. Why we are taking these brand phones? Because they are currently manufacturing Windows Phone applications. Device resolution can be 800 into 480 pixels and most are outfitted with both front and rear facing cameras. The screen can be of 4.3 to 4.7 inches. Now what we discussed in this video, at the end of this session, you will be able to know about software available to develop Windows Phone application, different approaches to design Windows application, hardware and software requirements to design Windows Phone application. In the next session, we will discuss the practical example where we will design the Windows Phone application using Microsoft Visual Studio. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next session.